Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, it's been quite some time since I have done a renovation vlog. There has been so much going on and you will know all about that if you follow the home Instagram account at Home. Today I thought I would take you with me organizing my wardrobe. So I've got two huge wardrobes that have been built, but I'm going to basically mainly organize my wardrobe room today, which isn't actually finished, but the first kind of wall of wardrobe is finished. We're basically gonna try and unpack all of the suitcases and all of the bags and just have a huge declutter and get stuff into there. Um, I'll decide what's going to Depop, what's going to charity, what I'm keeping and all of that stuff. And basically organize my wardrobe room with me so far. So let's go. The aim of the game is to try and get stuff out of these suitcases and boxes today so that I can just try put at least some of it into the wardrobe room. A little sneak peek here. I cannot wait to do a full video showing. Leave the at here of the guys who did these for me because they've been amazing. But I'm gonna basically put so much stuff in here like bed linen, beauty products, and I'm gonna film a whole video. At the moment, this is just storage for the builders. Um, just storing stuff away from them, but I cannot wait to show you. So the decorating starts tomorrow, as you can see. It's all quite mucky, but I do have my new door handles and my new doors on. Da 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 da. They are not finished yet because at the moment there's only this side finished. But I am so excited to start popping stuff into here today. So that is what I'm going to do. So I guess I need to decide what's going to go where, who's is going to be whose section. I think I'm going to take this whole section for me. And I basically need to measure here because I want to order myself some baskets to go in here. I chose not to have too much hanging space because I personally don't, don't like hanging stuff. So I need to basically find baskets that are going to fit perfectly in here so that I can put as many clothes as possible in them. And then in here I've got like my drawers and stuff. This is going to be for my sunglasses and stuff. Belts, that kind of stuff. And then I've got my drawers. So I'll probably do like one for gym kit, one for knickers. And then this is going to be my iron. I think I might get an ironing board that pulls out of here. In here is the hanging space. Like I said, I don't really hang that much stuff up. And we've got a bottom one and a top one. And then, in here, we've got more space. Items have been locked away for literally, oh, maybe 16, 16 weeks. And actually, these things inside here aren't dusty and I had no idea what they even were. This is underwear so this is great. I can go straight in and put these in one of the drawers. I think I'm doing this a bit of a rubbish way. I think what I need to do is sort stuff out in the suitcases like knickers and whatever and then put it in the drawers. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've actually decided that this section, we've got knickers in here, we've got bikinis and swimwear in here, we have got bras in here, and in here we've got like soft bras. And then I don't wanna have my socks and stuff in here, but I just need to sort them out properly. So for now, they are going in there, but I love having this little section as my hoisery, lingerie section. It is sweaty in here, on to the second suitcase. It's like a game of what on earth is gonna be inside it. Have you seen how much stuff I crammed in here? It's crazy. Let's try get just a bit of this in. So there's method in the madness. I'm starting to put gym kit into here so that I know that it's all in one section and then I can transfer it into the wardrobe. To be honest, I think I did stack it in like all of this stuff is pretty much gym kit. So well done me, that was handy, wasn't it? No one should have this much gym kit. I do so many regular calls where I give stuff to charity, get rid of stuff, and I've still got so much stuff. So what I'm gonna do, because we are running out of time this evening, is just start popping stuff in the drawers for now. And then I'm gonna do like another huge call when I come back. So I'm gonna do gym tops first. Let's go. 
and then Jim like it. Have some more bras. Oh, it's good exercise doing this. So I've got all of this gym kit and I feel like I don't even go to the gym anymore. I work out, I've been doing home workouts literally the whole way through lockdown. So it's been like over a year of home workouts and it's so hard to motivate yourself. I definitely miss the gym so, so, so much. But I did just order a Peloton, which I am so excited about. I've just had to cancel it coming and change it for another few weeks down the line though, unfortunately, because obviously there's so many delays with building things. It's all part of the journey. But then that got me thinking about how much our habits have changed. Like I've got all of this gym kit and I'm kind of like, I don't really need it now because I just like run, go, well, I go on a run and obviously wear gym kit for that, but my home workouts, I wear my gym kit, obviously, but I, sometimes I just do it in my pajamas. That's really bad, isn't it? So I'm definitely gonna go through all of my gym kit and make that a bit more streamlined. And yeah, it just made me think that so many of our habits have changed, haven't they, over the last year? I actually went on the radio the other day to talk about how different things like subscriptions have been and how so many more of us have started using them through lockdown. And I went on the radio with a company called Amasis. They're basically leaders in technology. And apparently one in five of us have subscribed to something during lockdown, which completely makes sense. I guess a lot of people were bored or just wanted that kind of pick me up. But it was really interesting because as I was doing this radio talk, I've been looking at so much research that Amasis have done about subscriptions and stuff, and it made me think, oh my gosh, I have taken up so many subscriptions over the last year, you know, obviously my Peloton is about to start. My gym subscription, I know gyms are back open now, so people are going back to gyms. I personally can't wait to go back to David Lloyd because I miss my Blaze classes so much. It's funny because our research basically said that 46% of the UK has significantly changed the way they shop, with 52% of 16 to 24 year olds saying that they want the high street to feel as convenient as apps. And I do feel like through lockdown, everything, you know, my workouts, I've been doing them through an app. Obviously I do want to go back to my David Lloyd subscription and that's a subscription subscription now but my workouts for example I've been doing it on an app I've been using the Peloton app because you get to use the Peloton app even if you don't have your bike yet so I've been doing some home workouts on that I know so many people have bought into fitness apps research from a master showed that 35 percent of 16 to 24 year olds say that apps have made them feel kind of more connected and that definitely makes sense I know that like workout apps you feel so much more kind of like you're part of a community. I'm sure you guys will agree that the reason that I love going to David Lloyd and going to like my Blaze classes is feeling like part of a community. Even though now I feel a bit lazy and I'd rather just work out in my pajamas and not have the commute. It's one of those things that actually, how great is it that you can still feel connected on these apps if everyone's doing workouts at the same time as you? A third of people have said that using mobile apps gives them a boost, which I think is so nice to have that like mood boost. And I definitely feel it. So I guess if you're paying part of a subscription, like the other day when I was doing this workout, you could see where everyone was from on the right hand side and everyone was like, woo, go on. It was like a real hype and made me feel as if I was back in the gym. So it definitely gave me that mood lifter. And Masters also found that emotional well-being is kind of the key reason that people are signing up to apps and subscriptions. They found that 29% of people actually just like to receive something and I get that. It's that psychological thing. Like, for example, through lockdown, I have been receiving a lot of food boxes, like food subscriptions. You can get gym subscriptions, food subscriptions. How nice is it? You can even get beauty subscriptions. It's like getting a gift to yourself or to someone else every single month. And it's that feeling that's like the gift that keeps on giving. And that's why I think people like subscriptions. But the question we were talking about on the radio is, are these subscriptions going to continue after lockdown? You know, you guys let me know in the comments. I'm interested to know, will you be heading back to the gym? I know that Matt is desperate to get back to the gym. He's like, I wanna lift weights. I wanna get back to the gym. And I miss the gym. I miss my classes so much. I miss that community feel, but at the same time, I don't miss the commute. I'm gonna have that anxiety of like being late for my class and stuff. So for me, it's a bit of a balance. I'll definitely keep some things. Um, like I bought a Peloton, hello, biggest investment ever. But it doesn't mean I'm gonna give up my gym forever. And in terms of like home cooking and stuff, I do worry that people aren't gonna be sticking to these kind of home cooking subscriptions anymore because now we can go back out to restaurants and stuff. But then again, for people who have busy lives, maybe they're gonna be like, I just want quick food that I can pop in the oven because my life's back to being super busy now. So I would be really interested to get your thoughts and feelings. What kind of apps are you subscribed to or what subscriptions are you subscribed to and why? And do you like them? I think that research from Amasis was so interesting and really made me think when I was just popping my gym kit away then. Right, what am I going to get to go with next? So I'm now going to, I can't do my big bits because I don't actually have some boxes. So I need to weigh, I need to weigh them. I need to measure those up and then figure out what's going to go in each section. 
yeah, I think I'm going to put my sunglasses away next. So this is my kind of sunglasses and belt part. So let's see if my sunglasses actually are going to fit in there. I either put a few pairs in sideways like this in these or just have them all laid out in this bit. I actually think I'm going to prefer them laid out in this bit. What do you guys think? I know they need a good old scrub. I'm definitely going to scrub them all. Um, but I actually think they're going to look better just like this to be honest. What do you guys think? Like plastic ones, in there, so you put them in there and they actually sit. Yeah, so we get like the plastic thing from, say, Amazon or something and pop it down, yeah. and then we can put them in. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that'll look amazing, won't it? And then they'll all be stood up, and then like, yeah, because doesn't that look nice? Because then we've got loads of other ones that can all go in this bit as well, mm. and then that can be our sunglasses drawer. It can be like, hello, and these I can put. what are we going to put in these belts? Belts, watches, well, belts, watches, jewelry, stuff Ties. like that. Ties, that kind of stuff, yeah. So you're going to share this one with me. Yeah, so Matt said that I can have this whole wardrobe, didn't you, Matt? I do. I'll have a, a less fancy one on the other side. The method behind the madness is that this one behind me is the fitted wardrobe. So this is fitted and it's here for keeps. I mean, someone could rip it out if they wanted to. And then this wall behind me is completely empty right now. And we need to basically do some like CAD drawings. I need Matt to put everything together and make a plan. But I think the plan would be that we would add a similar but much less expensive like just like a shop bought corner unit at the side from that that's going to be similar but in the corner here where the mirror is um so that if i do come to sell or if i do come to rent or if we do hopefully manifest move to new york at some point that can just be taken out and this can be a bedroom so we don't at the moment it still feels really roomy with this in here um but we do still need more storage from that stuff and matt came in today i was like oh shall i have this section and he was like no, you can just have all of that one. And I was like, yes. Because at my family home, my home home, I have a whole wardrobe room. So, you know, you're going to need storage. So yeah, the plan for this room, it's looking quite plain at the moment. I want to make it really efficient for storage, a really nice wardrobe room, but so that some of it, like this side, for example, is temporary just in case we do need to put a bed in there. And then here, I'm hoping we can put like an ottoman or a pop-out bed or something with like a pop of colour, because obviously it's quite empty in here. I'm going to put mirrors and stuff. I can't wait to transform this room and show you. Okay, what next? I'm going to see which drawers I've got empty and add some more stuff in them. So Matt's saying I'm running out of time, so he's saying basically just chuck all of this other stuff in there. Go home tonight. When I say home, go to our friend's house that was saying that. And basically I need to measure this and I'm going to get boxes. Don't think that's a good idea. It's up to you. Well, I would personally, but... Really? Well, I just put it in. No, I don't fold stuff. I want it to look neat. Yeah, I just fold so it stack it. I won't bother putting the box in. Can you go and pull the box out to get what you want? No, it looks a lot neater. I have that at home. And it shelves, works. Isn't it? Yeah, but it works well for me. I, it will just be like, mm. un, it will just be awful if I do that. I can actually quickly hang a few things though. Why you get some boxes where they're like essentially a box but with shelves in it? So you put in, you split each shelf into like three additional shelves. Rather than putting boxes in, so you can actually then like put some stuff in and then you can pull it out easily. Oh, that's a good idea. Because my idea is to literally have you like have tops, jumpers, yeah, but then you've got jeans. to pull the box out and then put the box on the floor to find whatever top you want looking for, and you've got to put the box back in. Oh, he speaks you just put sense. A box shelves, so that'll split each one into like three separate shelves, and you can just pull bits out, you know what I mean? You've got yeah. a white top, black top. That is a good idea, so we've got time to plan that. Matt's told me that this looks really messy and it will annoy him, so he's saying put them on the bottom. So I'm probably going to move all of his stuff and colour coordinate it and everything. Obviously, I would have also preferred for these to be gold, but I didn't actually get to choice. <laughs> so I will probably move stuff around for now. I'm just trying to get things hung up because, as you can see, everything's a bit creased and ruined from um, being in suitcases for so long. However, it's nice to see how it will look. But honestly, I think we're going to come back another day and get everything else sorted. Because as you can see, there's a lot and I need to measure for these boxes. Woohoo! Progress though, also. How nice are my handles? We could have got them double the width. Um, but I actually think double the width, double the light length, sorry. But I actually think these are really nice in the 
colour that they are. What we've managed to do is basically shove them in. I know they don't look good, but they're in order. So we've got pyjamas on the right, then we've got hanging stuff, then we've got trousers, then we've got tops, and I'm basically gonna wait until I can find the right things to put them in. And the good news is, in readiness for the builders, this actually has another suitcase inside of it. And now, Matt's popping the cases here. Obviously, we don't need them all to be in there because we'll put actual sunglasses that we're bringing from our other flat here. Um, and we're, like I say, gonna order something to go here. But it's looking good. You can see how it's gonna look. That is some serious progress, guys. Woohoo! And look how nice these wardrobes look. You can hear Matt going crazy with the roll and straw because we're trying to cut everything up before the builders come back and decorate tomorrow and we don't want them to get to on the floor. I thought, oh, that's weird. I haven't got that many clothes here. I was like, are they in the car? Are they at the flat we're at? And then I found them in the suitcase. So I'm gonna really quickly shove this stuff. Ooh. The idea was that everything was gonna be perfectly organized. But now it's just kind of like a draft organization until I find my proper cupboard, cupboard, whatever. I don't know, drawers, whatever I'm gonna find now. Just makes me so excited to travel again. This is literally the best present ever. Oh, what to do with these gorgeous perfumes? For now, you can go safely up here. Final suitcase to do, guys. This was hiding under the stairs. What's inside? It's a very small suitcase, but it's very, very, very round full. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's all matte stuff. So I best leave that in there. <laughs> I thought that was one of my dresses. Let's see. That is me done for suitcases. The only ones that are left are matte stuff. And like I say, it's currently organized a mess is what I like to call it. It's all in the right place, but it's not as organized as I would like it to be. So I've kind of got like oh, a pile to pop on Depop, a pile to give to charity, a pile that's like tops that need put it in baskets. And as I keep saying, there's gonna be some baskets to pop it all in. Look, I've literally dripped my makeup off. But at least it's all organized mess. And now what I can start doing is moving stuff in slowly every evening when the builders have gone from my friend's flat that we're staying at and then start taking that stuff and popping it into here. It's gonna be a slow process. It's gonna be one of those processes I think where rather than being able to do it all in one day, we're tackling it the way we are. So emptied all my suitcases here. All my clothes are kind of in their right place, but not as neat as they should be, but I'm making progress and I'm feeling great. So hopefully next time you guys come back, I will have more plans for the whole room and I'll have like all my shoes and everything put away, all my bags and all my other stuff that's currently at my friend's flat. I'm living between literally so many boxes and suitcases right now, but it feels good to at least have some stuff packed away in this weird organized mess type manner. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Everything mentioned, not like mentioned much, but will be linked below. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow the journey on at mshellhome and at mshellx. I'm so excited for these to be finished and for us to have mirrors in here, for me to have a cute little ottoman in here, for me to add some color in here. Oh, I'm exhausted after that. <laughs> Bye, guys.